All right, everyone. So how many of you guys have spent your hard-earned arena medals making unlocks in the Great Hall only to realize later on that maybe that wasn't the best idea and you want to fix it? Well, this is something that I wanted to talk about today and I wanted to introduce a Great Hall strategy that is going to, over time, allow you to fix a lot of these mistakes that you might have made in the past. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to directly reset the Great Hall and get your medals back. In fact, a lot of people have even reached out to the developers asking if they have any plans to do this in the future. And unfortunately, as of right now, their answer is still no. So all we can really do is kind of work around this. And that's why I wanted to introduce this strategy is it's really designed in a way to over time help correct a lot of these mistakes that a lot of people have made in the past. And you guys will see why this is probably going to work really well for a lot of people. Let me explain how it works here. Before I do, I know somebody's going to mention this in the comments, so I'll address it right now. I know I have a lot of medals, and I'm actually going to spend them at the end of this video. I don't want to do it now because I don't want to add more confusion to my great hall to make explaining the strategy seem more complicated than it actually is, but I will spend them at the end. So let's get into what this strategy is, and quite simply, what you're going to want to do eventually is get most stuff in your great hall to six out of 10, and that's a magic level for a very important reason. Now, the exception really is accuracy. Accuracy is going to be something that you are going to want to get to 10 out of 10, and you can even rush that and start working on that right away. It's important not only because uh, the accuracy from the Great Hall is very significant to your actual account and your champions, it's gonna make gearing up for accuracy a lot easier, but it's also going to help with a lot of those progress missions as well. You're gonna need to get a, a certain number of things to 10 out of 10 for those progress missions and accuracy is easily going to be the best choice in order to do so. But besides that, you are eventually going to want to get basically everything else to six out of 10 before you really start to go too crazy and start working on you know seven out of 10, eight out of 10, nine out of 10, or fully completing things at 10 out of 10. And I'm going to explain the logic behind this and hopefully it will make sense. So, all right, let's actually just take a look here at you know magic HP so we can see the metal costs and you'll see that at certain thresholds, the levels, the actual type of metals actually change. So the first three levels, you need those bronze metals. Then the next three levels, you need those silver metals. And then finally, those last four levels, you need the gold medals. Now, very importantly, at these threshold changes, you can use higher level metals uh, to purchase unlocks lower level, but you cannot use your lower level metals to purchase higher level unlocks, if that makes sense. And the great news as well is that the higher level metals, it's not like they have a one to one ratio. One gold medal is not one silver medal. It goes at a two to one ratio. So one gold medal is actually two silver medals. And then of course, one silver medal equals two bronze medals. So if you do the math there, that also means that one gold medal is equivalent to four bronze medals. So these earlier levels here are actually going to be very cheap in comparison to those later levels. And you can actually convert everything here um, you know, to the cost of what they would be in gold medals. And uh, the cost of getting from levels one to six in gold medals is 875. Now the cost of then going from six out of 10 to 10 out of 10 and fully upgrading something is going to cost 3,400 gold medals. So those last four levels cost more than four times the medals that it takes in order to get something from one to six. And that threshold change, just so you can see here, going from five to six costs 300 gold medals because gold converts one to two for silver. So 600 silver is the equivalent of 300 gold. But then that very next level, now six to seven is going to cost 700 gold medals. So that's a really big jump, 300 gold medals to now 700 gold levels. And you can see how those earlier levels are going to be very cheap in comparison to a full unlock. And what this means is that you can get a lot of stats on your account across all of your champions and get a crazy amount of efficiency just by working on getting everything to six out of 10 for that lower metal cost before you really start to go too crazy and work on getting things to 10 out of 10. Now, again, accuracy is the exception because you are going to need to uh, get 
certain things to 10 out of 10 for those progress missions. But, you know, besides accuracy, you really want to focus on evening things out. Now, once you do end up getting to six out of 10, that's going to be the point now where you can really start to focus in on very specific things. Um, and I'll get to that in a second here because there's actually a couple of steps before this. And you can see how if there are certain affinities that you really, you know, maybe messed up on and you put a couple of levels into them, eventually over time, because you're going to want to get basically everything to six out of 10, you're really going to kind of help even out those mistakes that you might have made in the past. Now, you know, it still takes a little while to get to six out of 10. This is definitely not an easy feat. It is gonna take a good amount of medals. You're looking at 875 gold medals for each unlock uh, going up to six out of 10. But what you wanna do before this, the general strategy from, you know, step one to the end here is, first of all, your mission requirements. This is accuracy getting it to 10 out of 10 for those progress missions. Then the next step is you want to work on getting everything to three out of 10, because this is those first three levels here before the bronze medals end up switching over to silver. So, you know, these are going to be some really, really cheap unlocks to get across all of the different stats here. Now, in terms of your priority, uh, if you don't know, you know, what stat should I end up taking to three out of 10 first, if you're really, really new, you always want to work, of course, on your highest contributing uh, champions and affinities and highest contributing doesn't necessarily mean the most champions that you have in that affinity you really kind of have to break down your champions and how they perform in things like the clan boss in the arena in the dungeons you might have one champion that's doing two or three times the amount of damage of another champion and in that case obviously they're contributing a lot to your overall team and that's probably going to be a, a big contributing factor to what you want to work on in the great hall so don't just go off of the number of champions you have really piece apart into how much that champion contributes to you know whatever content you're doing in the actual game but you're going to want to get everything to three out of ten first right because that's going to be those uh, bronze medals the cheapest upgrades then at that point you're going to want to get everything to six out of ten once again focusing in on those highest contributing champions and then finally once you've got your progress mission stuff out of the way like your accuracy and then you've got everything to six out of ten this is really the point now where everything from here on out is going to directly cost gold medals and this is where things get really really expensive but you have got some crazy value for the amount of stats that you've gotten for your account for the number of medals that it actually costs you and now you can focus in on those champions and maxing certain things out and it's going to cost you 3,400 gold medals in order to do so. So um, I wanted to explain the strategy to you. Now, of course, some people might still want to go completely 10 out of 10, very specific things. If that's something that you really want to do, you know what, go for it. That's another approach. But I think that especially for people who want to get the most out of their resources, this strategy works very, very well. The only thing that I can really say that this does not work incredibly well in is if you're an extremely competitive arena player and absolutely getting those perfect stats for the specific champions of a certain affinity is incredibly important to you. If that's the case and you're one of those players, then maybe this strategy doesn't work for you. But for the vast majority of people, I think that this is going to be the way to go for kind of the overall way that you want to approach the Great Hall. So now in terms of the actual stat priority here, I know I already have a video from many months ago talking about this in detail. So I'm just going to go over this at the very bare basic here. But of course, accuracy is, uh, you know, number one here, you're going to need to do it for your progress missions. Now next up is uh, it's going to be either HP attack or defense. And that's going to depend on the type of champions that you actually have. Like if you have HP based champions of the you know void affinity, or if you have defense based champions of the force affinity, that's going to be the next most important thing for you, right? Then after that is going to be crit damage. That's going to be next up. And then uh, finally to end it off is going to be, you know, if you had an HP based champion of the void affinity, for example, uh, you know, just kind of going through the overall order, accuracy is going to be number one, then void HP is going to be number two, then crit damage is going to be number three, then you want to end off and going back to that attack and defense. And finally, the last thing on the list is going to be that resistance. So that's just kind of the uh, stat priority there if uh, you need a little bit of a refresher. But now that I've explained the strategy, I've explained the actual stats. 
Um, I hope that this does help correct some of the mistakes that you have made in the Great Hall. And I am going to end off by spending my medals, 15,000 of them. It's actually going to be about 13,000. Because what I'm going to get is I'm going to get crit damage for void, crit damage for force, and I'm going to get defense for void and defense for force. The reason is uh, crit damage for void is for my Sir Nicholas, of course. Uh, force crit damage is going to be for my Rosin Scarhide and my Bad L. Defense force is going to be for my um, Rosin Scarhide. And then, of course, the Void defense is going to be for Tormin and also a little bit of extra survivability and tankiness for my Sir Nicholas just because he is that big of a contributor to my team. So that's going to cost a lot of medals. Let me go ahead and do this right here. I've been saving up a long time to do this, so... All right, we're going to do this very quickly. This is weeks, months. I don't know how long it took to get that many medals, but a lot of saving up spent in just a few seconds here. So, all right, now I'm down below 2,000 medals, just like that. So, anyway, that's going to be it for the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and if you did and you want more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. Feel free to leave a quick like as well. It means more than you can imagine. More Raid Shadow Legends videos, guides, tutorials, all that fun stuff should be popping up on the screen right about now. Feel free to check it out. But if not, have a great day, everyone. Take care. This is Salt of the Salty Guild, signing out.